Hello, everybody. So, as promised, I am starting to record on the uh, Tascam 2488 here. Uh, let's just take a look at the thing. Um, well, first off, I got I I have to say thanks to the guy who I purchased it from. He he sent me this. I've never even heard of this thing. This is the 2488 Home Guide compiled by Don Robertson. Um, you know, no affiliation to TAC or Tascam. This was, you know, he says it's cover areas that were left out of the manual. Um, so, yeah, I think I got lucky with getting this. And then he uh, says to go to, the, you know, it was gathered to that website. That website doesn't exist anymore. So there is no more Tascam 2488 website. But, yeah, it is quite extensive. And I actually used it in doing some funny stuff in here like turntable hookup and windows media player won't play 24 bit so so if you try to play them so this is what i found interesting this is what i've already used um so i did the drum machine thing where is the drum machine things general media reference media so he shows how to set up Oh, you can synchronize two together. There's so many different things here. I might have to get another 2488 and see if I can actually synchronize them. That would be kind of cool to see. Because um, that would give you a hell of a lot more channels. Um, let's see. It's got all this information here. Guitar processor. I, I'm, I'm hoping to try to find one of those connectors that you can take the screen from here and put it on your monitor. Because that seems that would be nice to have too. Um, let's see. Let me let me do it this way. Find drums. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, let's change the pattern. I know how to do it. I just drum patterns, yeah. Arranging patterns, internal loops. That's probably it's probably page ten or part ten. Yes, so this is what I did. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the internal drum machine on the thing. This this has uh, this has general MIDI version two, which I was surprised to see. Well, not really. It was it, it has version two, which is kind of nice. Um, General MIDI was back in the day. It was uh, kind of everybody. If if you if you had General MIDI, that meant that you were using the same sounds as everybody else, or that had General MIDI. So you had decent sounds, and they <coughs> put it into the system. So yeah. So what I ended up doing was I went me menu sync MIDI media player change mode to patterns. So do that just go menu let me uh, show you on the thing here my screen as I've said this it, my screen is a little darker than others or it doesn't it's not as clear it's getting better I'm I just got new glasses it's getting better um, so then you go to meaty so and oh yes and when I clean all the buttons beautiful it is it is running like it's a new machine so I'm gonna say yes here um go to what is it midi player yeah go yes and see as you can see i switched it to pattern you have the option of pattern smf which is a file type or off and i want it on pattern hopefully i didn't lose what i did don't think i did so that was what i did now if i go to the midi player here so i go to the player so i clicked on the last button here player and then you have there is there's my drums and I'm doing does it say it just I think it says R&B 07 and then what's cool is it comes with a bunch of patterns it comes with an intro a verse a a fill a b verse a fill b a and then uh, and, and, and then an outro so if I cursor down on this, I've already filled it in as you can see. So that's my whole song. So then it has an ending. So 
Yeah, so what I did was I ended up I used I used what was there. You can change the ones that have a star beside it, if you notice, like here has a star beside it on. You can add another measure. You can add more measures to it because it'll just it'll just reuse what's already there as another measure. So that's kind of cool too. That's actually better than my drum machine over there. My drum machine, if I add if I add another pattern, like another verse B to it, it will be a full whatever. I can't shrink it down to <coughs> like one or two more. One or two more. So yeah, so it's it's loaded with drum patterns. Like here, I'll show you on the screen here. So this is what he's got in there. All these hard, hard rock. And then so I'm doing RB7. RB7 is blues shuffle so now if i play that i hope hopefully you can hear this we'll have to see let's give it a shot so if i if i play it you can hear that that's the intro and now it's in the song that'll be a fill next part Now, when you first try, when you first listen to one of these, that's about it. It's like it's like a thirty-second snippet. It's like intro, verse A, fill, uh, verse B, fill, outro. That's all it does. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, then then you can go in, you can copy and paste, and you can make it longer. They suggest I'm gonna do it is to move it from move back here move it from uh, the TG here from the MIDI and then put it and then bounce it to another track which I'm going to do in a minute which I'm going to do um, I just wanted to make sure it was what I wanted and so yeah and then then that that's I guess that frees up your MIDI channel or if you do something stupid like change the MIDI on it you know you're it's gone but this way, if I move it over, I have the media channel free. I can do something else with it. And it, yeah, like you do have a lot of choices. I didn't even show you. You know, you got Ska Reggae uh, kits. Let me show you the kits for a second. So standard. So all these, you got like 20 different kits to play. Um, and then, yeah, there is other sounds too. Like you, you have a general media. Like you have a proper midi system in here they don't offer this anymore probably because of licensing probably because it's outdated um but it is really cool i will say that it is really cool um yeah i have to i have to read a lot of this stuff still so yeah so i have my drum i have my drum tracks down i'm going to push them over i'm going to put some bass down it's going to be pretty much a straight blues style bass i already have the song i already have the lyrics written for this song i the funny part is is i i was looking through my 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 lyrics sheet i was looking through my, my i was looking through my 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 one directory i have a directory on my on my computer which is lyrics and a lot of them are just starts of songs generally the chorus nothing else um and i found one i went yeah you know what let's do that one so it's going to be a fun little song. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on the bass line. I'm going to try to use as much of the internals on this thing as I can to see what it does. So far, so good. I do like the general MIDI. That is, that's a time saver. Now, granted, yeah, I would probably rather, I would rather um, use an actual drum set for this. But at this moment, I'm not going to worry about it. One other thing I... I was told by somebody, be careful with the externals or with the plugs. So I have the, this, it's, it has four XLRs um, and then four TRS. They are TRS. I looked it up. That's USB right there, the last one on the thing here. That's the same USB I would use for my um, Model 24. So I have the four here. I only have two adapters going into XLR. And that is because these are too fat and I can't fit the, the other two in between 
to do it. So I've I have to uh, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do there to make it work. And then I will not and then I will not touch the back. So I will not be playing with the back. And you can see I have uh, it going out, going the line out, and that. Beside there is the um, right there is the uh, effects out. Effects out on this is unbalanced, which means that it is just it is just um, a standard effects out. You don't need a TRS cable. Well, you don't need a TRS cable anyways. These are all balanced. So this is all balanced. The top part here, um, the the extra extra H. There's an H on the back and there's an H on the front. This um, this one is a guitar input. It is not balanced, so it is just a standard guitar input, which is perfect. I am going to try an expression pedal at some point to see what that does. Um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, I Just so you know, I am not going to just work on this. If, if people ask questions about other devices, I will put that as priority one. So, But either way, I'm going to play with this. Uh, yes, I'm, I, I, I just worked on, I think the, as of today, the, the, uh, the one on the MIDI drums came out and I talked about, I am trying to find an MT S30. I have found one. I am just humming and hawing and do I want to spend the money on it and bring it into the country all the way from Japan or do I want to wait and see if I can find one closer? I doubt I will find one closer. So either way. Um, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Can I live in a tree? Can I go to sleep right now? Can I get anything for free? Bag of tea. Climb a tree. Don't you know? Sucks to be me.